Well, certainly the first thing that so many of the homeless say to us is that they, they are so devastated by being invisible. They're people that everyone looks by or looks over. Um, you know, so many people see them as a blight on our community. And, and quite often, they're a reminder of how close any one of us could be to this situation. And so people tend to look beyond. I think if you see someone, you know, the first gift you can give them is a smile or a conversation. Um, people are, are panhandling to survive, but um, at the end of the day, the money might, might buy them some food or go towards their rent. But being spoken to or smiled at or recognized if you pass the same person every day makes as great a difference as it does if you uh, offer them some money um, or a Tim Hortons card or something like that, just to include them in the fact that, that they're part of our community and, and they belong here the same as we do. That it's, that it's you, that it's I. These are people who are living their lives the best they can. Um, the fight to survive and rise up above every day is actually incredible to experience with someone who's living in homelessness. Um, you know, quite often we think that they've taken the easy route. Uh, they're victims. They're people who are suffering horribly at the hands of, of many predators that are out there, at the hands of cold weather, um, of not having that door to close behind them at night. And so I think the big thing is to know that this is us. It's, it's part of who we are as a community. And the more we gather together and determine that it's our responsibility to care for each other, uh, that's where the difference will be made. The Mustard Seed is an organization that addresses the issues of homelessness and poverty in a number of ways. Um, through our vision statement of building community, growing hope and supporting change, we really strive to reach out to the community and instead of telling the community what it is we think they need, we actually work with the community and those experiencing poverty and homelessness and having them determine what it is they need and we try to respond to that need appropriately through various programs. Um, we're always creating something new. We've got programming in Edmonton, we've got Mountain Air Lodge out in Sundry, and then the uh, shelter and the downtown sites in Calgary.